peritoneal dialysis, otherwise known as PD. PD is an indirect method of cleaning the blood of waste products using osmosis and diffusion with the peritoneum functioning as a semi-permeable membrane when the kidneys are unable to do so. PD removes excess fluid and waste products from the bloodstream when a sterile electrolyte solution diacylate is instilled into the peritoneal cavity by gravity using a surgically placed catheter. The diacylate remains in the cavity for a prescribed time, then is drained out by gravity, taking accumulated waste and excess fluids and electrolytes with it. Diacylate solution comes in 1.5, 2.5, and 4.25% dextrose concentrations. A higher dextrose concentration moves fluid and more waste into the peritoneum. The different types of peritoneal dialysis are acute intermittent peritoneal dialysis done 3 to 5 times a week, 10 to 12 hours each, continuous cyclic peritoneal dialysis, otherwise known as CCPD, is done overnight using a machine three to, with 3 to 5 exchanges during the night and well during the day, and continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis, otherwise known as CAPD, with patient drains, fills, and dwells during the day with four to five exchanges each day. This is a picture of a PD catheter with a transfer set used to perform CAPD or CCPD. PD is typically administered at the patient's home either by themselves or by a caregiver with scheduled monthly visits to their dialysis clinical center. This picture is with an overnight machine for CCPD and a patient performing CAPD. Evidence-based practice. The research shows that performing a PD exchange using aseptic technique is essential in the prevention of developing peritonitis. The research also shows that the main cause of peritonitis was the failure of patients to follow prescribed technique. One month post-training is a critical time for reinforcement because many patients begin to take shortcuts with their techniques during this time. More frequent and detailed peritonitis review decreased the overall peritonitis rates. Complications associated with peritonitis included hospitalization, increased mortality, transfer to hemodialysis, technique failure, and changes in membrane permeability. Based on St. Joseph's Hospital Policy and Procedure, equipment used for CAPD, altar bag with tubing attached, two disposable chucks pads, two outlet port clamps, one mini cap with iodine, two masks, one for the nurse and one for the patient, and gloves. The procedure is to provide a clean work area, remove altar bag from over pouch and inspect pull ring, tubing frangibles and new solution bag, warm bag per procedure, add medication per MD order, remove transfer set from patient's clothing, make sure twist clamp on transfer set is closed, place a disposable chucks pad under the transfer set to protect the patient clothing, apply the face mask. A mask for you, your patient, and any visitors that are in the room. Wash hands. Place one outlet port clamp on fill line and one on the drain line. Break blue frangible on patient connector end. Break green frangible near solution bag. Remove pull ring from altar bag patient connection. Hold tubing to ensure that the tubing end does not touch anything. With your other hand, pick up the transfer set by the light blue finger hold area. With the hand holding the altar bag tubing, unscrew the cap on the end of the transfer set. The transfer set should be pointed downward. Drop the cap and twist the end of the altar bag tubing onto the end of the transfer set. Hold the transfer set steady while twisting on altar bag tubing until firmly secured. Hang the new solution bag on the IV pole. Place the chucks pad on the floor. Place drain bag flat on chucks pad. Remove outlet port clamp from drain line. 
Open the transfer set to start the drain. Observe effluent for cloudiness and or fibrin. When drainage is complete, close the transfer set twist clamp. Remove blue outlet port clamp from fill line to flush. Allow new solution to flow down fill line past the Y junction with the drain line. Clamp drain line with outlet port clamp. Open transfer set twist clamp to fill patient with new solution. When fill is complete, close the transfer set twist clamp. Clamp the fill line with second outlet port clamp. Open mini cap package and check the sponge cap visually for wetness. Hold onto the light blue finger hold area for the transfer set and detach the ultra bag tubing from the transfer set with your other hand. Transfer set should be pointed downward. Point open end of mini cap up and twist it onto the transfer set until firmly secured. This study was published in 2008. The study proves that aseptic technique and reinforced teaching works to prevent peritonitis. Therefore, no further studies are needed. Thank you.